What's up guys, here we are, we're doing uh, another pull here. A lot of guys have been asking for the uh, intake air temps. I'm going to show you those right here. As you can see, this blue line here is climbing. This is, uh, if you see low right here, about uh, 118, it's about 5 PSI as we're going through. You can see the intake air temps rising, rising, rising. So max load, max load on 8 psi. The max is at around 130, 130 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. That's at 8 psi. And this is again, it's a small pulley, it's the small uh, crank pulley, a 5.25 inch uh, crank pulley, base, 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 uh, a lot of boost. Um, air fuel is. Um, Pretty rich, 11.2, as you can see that, 11.1, 11, 11.2, 11, in that area. This is at uh, 5200 RPM. And it doesn't have much timing in it, it's got about uh, 16, 17 degrees of timing in it. So just guys, uh, I'm gonna bump it up to around 8 PSI right off the battery, right? two grand all the way up to uh, Try and make around 10 psi all the way through the pull. Uh, I'm going to take off that uh, five uh, inch pulley, put the six and a half inch pulley, keep the top pulley, the three and a quarter inch pulley, and see exactly how much boost it makes with the stock crank pulley. We're taking our time. Uh, it's a new kit, uh, more volume of air for the same amount of boost. This pull made around 340 foot pounds of torque at the wheels, which is roughly 400 motor the uh, motor torque. Which is a lot for these motors. You guys know, powder rods. These uh, these uh, four sixes uh, don't really take it. Don't compare it to Dynojet numbers. Dynojet number will be about 12, uh, 13 percent higher. So if take 340 at 12 percent. It's about uh, I don't know, 360, 370. You guys do the math at uh, at the wheels on the Dynojet. So uh, yeah. So the next step is to do that and uh, try and get this up to around 400 foot pounds uh, <coughs> on a Mustang Dyno. See what it does. I'm gonna keep it nice and rich and uh, do a couple of pulls, see what it does. But uh, I do have to take it off the dyno uh, and just uh, pull that crank pulley off, uh, pull the, um, the underdrive pulley off of there and put the stock crank pulley back on. Six and a half, three and a half, three and a quarter inch pulley, see what it does as far as boost is concerned. But I'm pleased with the intake air temp sensors, uh, you know, uh, the air that's coming out of this thing, it's not that bad, to be completely honest with you. If you look at the numbers on like a 1.6 saline, I've got a bunch of uh, data logs on here. I mean, the peak numbers are on the same boost. It's about 180 to 201 degree uh, temps. But I do want to see the temps with, uh, with more boost and see exactly what it does with the, with the high, high, uh, with the higher boost and the um, the more volume in air and see how good our intercooler system is working with that longer intake and the longer uh, heat exchanger under the blower. So right on. I hope this answers some of your questions, guys. Don't be shy to order. I'll be doing some pre-order pricing. Um, give me a shot if you're interested in the kit, and I'm going to try and you know, meet your needs and uh, meet your budget. Let me know if you guys really want this kit. Give me a shot, 450-629-1977, or you can text myself, 514-690-2441. You guys are more than welcome to text me as well if you're shy to call. And uh, I'll hook you up with a good price and uh, get this kit uh out to you. We should be shipping uh, uh, the bulk of these blower kits uh, end of January. We're shipping intercoolers. I've got everything else. I'm just waiting for the intercoolers and the heat exchangers. So as soon as that's all in, I'll be starting to put uh, two, three together at a time and, uh, and shipping them out to you guys. So let me know. Thanks for watching.